Hello, I'm Dr. Burick from the University of Mount Union's Department of Education. I'd like to welcome you to Purple Raiders Virtual Mentors as we take a close look at how scientists classify animals. Let's get started. How can we put animals in groups? Think about these animals. Horse. Grasshopper. Fish. Starfish. Chicken. Jellyfish. What are some possible groups to sort these animals into? You might have thought about making two groups for the animals. First, animals that live on land. The second group might be animals that live in water. Can you think of a different way to group these same animals? Look how our groups change if we sort them as animals with backbones and animals without backbones. There are many ways to sort animals. Scientists classify animals because there are so many of them. Today, you will learn about different groups of animals with backbones and complete a sorting activity. Read the student learning target aloud with me. Ready? Go. I can classify animals with backbones as either amphibian, bird, fish, mammal, or reptile. Let's get started. Touch the back of your neck. Do you feel bumps? These are part of your backbone. Your backbone goes from your hips all the way up to your head. Not all animals have a backbone. One way scientists classify animals is as with animals with backbones and animals without backbones. Today we will take a closer look at animals with backbones. Scientists call animals with backbones vertebrates and they classify them into many groups. The first group of animals with backbones are called amphibians. Say that with me, amphibians. Very nice. Almost all amphibians begin their lives in water. They often have smooth, moist skin. This helps them live on both land and water. Examples of amphibians include frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. The next group of animals with backbones are called birds. Birds are the only animals with feathers. They have two wings and two legs. Not all birds can fly though. Examples of birds include hummingbirds, owls, eagles, and ostriches. Another group of animals with backbones are called fish. Fish live in water. Some fish live in freshwater, like creeks, ponds, and lakes. Other fish live in bodies of salt water, like the ocean. They breathe with body parts called gills. Fish have fins that help them swim. Examples of fish include sharks, minnows, bass, and tuna. Mammals are another group of animals with backbones. Mammals have hair or fur. They give birth to live young and feed them milk. They are among the most intelligent of all living things. Mammals include a wide variety of animals, from cats 
to humans, to camels, to chimpanzees. The final group of animals with backbones are the reptiles. Reptiles have scales and are cold-blooded. They need sunlight to stay warm and regulate their body temperature. Most reptiles lay eggs. Examples of reptiles include crocodiles, lizards, snakes, and geckos. What other animals could fit in these groups? Take a few seconds now to name an animal and then sort it into a group. Now let's try one together. This is a goldfish. How would you classify a goldfish? A goldfish is an animal with a backbone that is classified as a fish. How did you do with your classification? Let's try another. Here we have a turtle. The turtle is a cold-blooded animal with a hard shell that covers and protects its backbone. Turtles also lay eggs. What group does the turtle belong to? A turtle is classified as a reptile. How did you do with your classification? Let's try one more before you complete the self-check. Here we have a lion. The lion is warm-blooded it's an animal that gives birth to live cubs. What group does the animal belong to? I hope you said mammals, because that's the proper classification for a lion. You seem to be doing pretty well with this. Let's try a self-check. Salamanders look like a cross between a frog and a lizard. Their bodies are long and slender. Their skin is moist and usually smooth and they have long tails. How would you classify a salamander? Sharks have been around since long before the dinosaurs existed. They live in waters all over the world, in every ocean, and even in some rivers and lakes. How would you classify a shark? Owls are mainly nocturnal or active at night. They are large animals that use their powerful wings, sharp talons, and curved bills to hunt and eat other animals. How would you classify an owl? What about a human? How would you classify a human? Geckos are found on all the continents except Antarctica. These colorful animals have adapted to habitats from rainforests to deserts to cold mountain slopes. Geckos are mostly small, nocturnal animals with a soft skin. How would you classify a gecko? Koalas are found in the eucalyptus forests of Eastern Australia. When an infant koala, called a joey, is born, it immediately climbs into its mother's pouch. How would you classify a koala? Bullfrogs are the largest real frog found in North America. Bullfrogs need to live in water and are therefore usually found near some source of water like a lake, a pond, a river, or a bog. How would you classify a bullfrog? The brilliant red wings, feathers, and crest of a male northern cardinal calls attention to itself. Cardinals love to eat seeds, fruits, buds, and insects. How would you classify a cardinal? Nice work. It was great learning about all the ways scientists can classify animals with backbones. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep on learning. Thanks for joining me today with the Purple Raiders Virtual Mentors. We'll see you next time.